Okay, so from the last discussion, so discuss already this one. Okay, so for example, problem we have this one. I have here ducting. Okay, so it is a fresh air duct. So air distribution systems I will put here. So let's look at here. So air distribution system. So we have. We have here is fresh air duct. Okay. So that will be the fresh air duct. So we have your system here. We have your riser. So later I will discuss what is riser. Okay, so let's start with this blue one. Yeah. So we'll be starting this one. Okay. So from here, makita nyo, we have your FD. So you have your fire damper. So and we have your duct here. Then we have your BCD. Ito na BCD, volume control damper. Then we have the size of reduct that is 700 by 400. Okay, so that is FAD. So again, your FAD stands for. FAD. So this is an acronym lang. So it depend on the designer, depend on you pa rin yan. So but you will be listing that uh, ni lahat ng mga acronym, it will be listed on the legend. Okay. So in your drawing of your ducting, there will be a legend we will be putting here. Okay. So what are the meaning of no mga bagay yun? So legend or notes and uh, sorry this is legend and uh, we're going to put it notes I'm uh, sorry pwede na legend pala so legend so we have your FAD so your FAD stands for your fresh so that will be fresh air duct so, ito yung ginamit ng designer dito. So, it depends on you kung ano. Pwede nyo rin baguhin yan. So, we can add uh, supply air duct. So, that will be SAD. So, fresh kasi nga from outside. Okay. Then, we have uh, BCD. Again. So, this will be your bullion control number we have FD so this will be your fire damper okay. so we have the size of 700 by 400 then you have a corresponding CFM okay so take note companion niya binigyan ng annotation yung ducting so let's apply that one sa ano niyo sa design niyo so for if you have your ducting air distribution system we apply this one yung paano niya ginamit so in order to annotate so when we say annotate is to give an um, description ng drawing niyo so we have uh Oh, now we have your duct 700 by 400, so you with the corresponding 3420 CFM 700 by 400. So let's talk. Uh, so let's start with the run. Muna, ah, sorry, uh, let's start with the run. So we're going to start the run from going here. Uh, natin naman ito. Let's start the run from going here till here. Uh, the, uh, going here, papunta Ayla. So, let's start uh, Doing the run Okay So, I will Tawag dito I will uh, Give the description on that So, kayo rin yung magbibigay nun sa inyo We have a section So, let's start with the run so, I will be starting the run from here. 
so starting from here I'm gonna put here letter uh, let's say this is uh, A okay so starting from here so I will be starting from here so go right here to so starting from here I'm gonna A okay starting from here then I will go papunta dito so we have let's say this is B okay so that is from the front of the air grill okay so that will be we have the duck run A to B duck run I'm gonna put here A to B okay. then section we have oh wait I'm gonna change this one to since we have hmm, uh, A to ang gawin natin B so at the end point of this one so this will be your B natin end point ng ducting from here going here okay then starting from the ducting here B we're going to since we have your duct traveling from here going here starting from here so that will be B papunta dito sa so we have from here Start I don't. Look at my other one. I'm gonna put it. So B. So this will be your C. Point C at this period. Okay. So in section nine. Then C. So we have. Hmm, this one A, B, C so this will be your here, point here, this will be your D okay. so A, B, C, D so this will be your I'm gonna name this one as D1 okay. So we have the duck run now A B C D two. Okay, so I'm going to change this one into we have your duck run from starting from A going to D one. Okay. So section let's start do sectioning. Okay. So section A to B. So we have section A to B. A to B. So we have uh, items. So ano bang items na meron tayo doon sa A to B? So the items considering dito lang, we have your duck, okay? The size of now we have your duck. So you're going to put here duck. So what will be the volume flow rate? So we have your volume flow rate. So that is 3,420 420 cfm. Okay. So that is 3,420 cfm. So if we're going to convert that 3,420 cfm, so we have 16,014 uh, 1,614 so we have so that will be converted to liters per second so 1,000 uh, 1, so this will be 1,614 then we have for the gallons per minute, so I'm going to convert that one gallons second gallons per minute. Yes. 
So we have 25,500. So we have the value of 25,583. So we have 25,583. So, I'll just only make it a whole number. Ano lang. So, okay. Then, we have the size of their duck. So, that is 700 by 400. So, we have 700 by 400. Okay. So... Let's speed up yung other one. So let's check, uh, compute for the velocity. Solving for velocity. Of air at section so section and a to b so this will be the solution okay. a to b so we have your continuity equation your q that will be your area times your velocity so velocity that will be q divided by your area okay. so you have your q uh, so, since it we are in meters per second, naran tayo. So this will be 1,614. Let's use the 1,614. So this will be 1,614. So this will be liters per second, and we're going to convert that one to cubic meter. Okay. So, cubic feet, so we have your liters per second, I'm oh, sorry, so we know that uh, one cubic meter, I uh, want to, uh, so we have conversion that will be 1 cubic meter is equal to 1000 liters okay. then divided by um, area natin that will be 700 okay. verify again so that will be 700 by 400 so uh, area that will be 0 let's use the meter 0 0.4 meter multiply by 0 0.4 meter so we have the velocity now as so from our calculator that will be is equal to 5.76 okay, meter per second okay, 5.76 now uh, for the calculation uh, take note so this will be Yung solution nyo will be included doon sa submission niya. So, solutions and tables and drafting drawing. So, uh, hanapin ko ito ang solutions. Then, we have now, okay, so substitute the 5.76. So, we have the volume flow rate. So, we have here 5.76 meter per second. Okay. Now let's uh, compute to fill up the uh, length on duck. So from the length of duck, you can check that one. It will be easier to check it in the AutoCAD. Okay. So I'm starting it from here. So I'm just only going to use DI to measure the distance. So from here, I'm going to measure the going here. So, makikita niya, we have the value x, y. So, if we're going to press F2, so we have the distance of 1,585. So, this is already in 
millimeters so 1585 so we can round it up into 1.5 okay. so we can put here the distance of 1.5 meters ah, one point sorry that will be I think that will be 1.6 meters so this will be 1.6 meters Okay. So dock elevation, so dock change in elevation. So uh, we have same floor. So the dock change elevation will be zero. Uh, the equivalent. So if we're going to, uh, so we need to compute that the equivalent, pala, in order to compute the Reynolds number. So the equivalent. That will be for section A to B. Or the equivalent equation that will be so the equivalent is equal to your two times a plus b divided by a plus b. Okay, so there will be two times elanya. So we have yung yung duck natin let's draw your duck so we're going to, to sample out okay. so we have here so if we're going to check the cad okay. so makikita nyo and kahit i-measure natin we have you know, so you have your 700 value okay so that in the x axis so going back so we have here 700 dito so uh, 700 mm then yung height niya will it will be 400 mm so we have now a since yung A is the height of the duck okay and ang yung B is the width so we have your height that will be uh, 0 0.4 meters multiplied by 0 0.7 meters plus 0 0.4 meter plus 0 0.7 meters so take note the units so since so, bagay, pwede naman natin erect na since magka-cancel out naman. But, uh, for the uni uniformity, uh, uh, I use the mm. In order to, uh, I use the meters pala, sorry. In order for me to have, uh, directly na, okay? So, I have a uh, equivalent of 0. 51 meters okay. so substitute that one here sa table natin we have the equivalent of 0 and this is 0.51 okay. meters now we have now the equivalent we can now sub your Reynolds number Since uh, we still don't have yung viscosity of air pala. So, what will be the viscosity of air at standard? Uh, what will be the viscosity? So, ah, sorry. Uh, viscosity ng air. Okay, so, kanina yung from the last time we tackled. No? So, let's... Uh, 
get now the muna ang um, density ng air okay. from your PBMRT so we have the equation of your um, ideal gas PV MRT since yung density that we mass over volume so we have your mass over their volume that will be P over your R and T so this is equal to the density of your air so we have the density of your air that will be equal to atmospheric pressure that will be 101 thus 3000 325 so this will be newton per square meter divided by yung R natin ng air so we have uh, an R ng air that will be 287 287 ba? so very fine 287 newton meter so we have 287 newton meter kilogram Kelvin. Then multiply by the temperature. So take note, uh, maintaining temperature natin. So it will be based on doing your design. Okay. So I'm here. Uh, what I'm doing now, I'm going to assume only. So so design nyo parin yan kung ilan yung temperature ng air. So I'm going to assume that is uh, since uh, that is from the coil. So I'm going to assume this is 18 degrees. Assuming lang plus 273 in order to make it Kelvin okay. so we have now the density of air will equal to so we have the value of 1.21 so this will be kilogram cubic meter 1.21 so I'm gonna input it in the uh, table so this will be 1.21 then we have your specific weight that will be newton per cubic meter so let's try to fill this one so newton so we have your specific weight equation so specific weight so that will be weight over the volume or can be expressed as mass times the gravity divided by your volume and can be expressed as density times the gravity so density of your air so specific weight that will be 1.21 kg per cubic meter will be multiplied by 9.81 meter per second squared so, so it will be 11.87 so newton a cubic meter 11.87 so we have here 11.87 okay. so we have now the density so let's uh, compute now what will be the viscosity of your uh, no, not compute but check the chart pala. sorry okay, from here we have ah uh, so that is 15 and 20 we can interpolate in order to get a uh, no, uh, value so usually we have to interpolate so from the table here uh, 15 to 20 okay. going back so let's try to interpolate this one so we have your 15 uh, the temperature of 15 okay. 15 then we have your 18 and then you have your 20 mm -hmm. then dynamic viscosity what we need is your viscosity for your Pascal so that will be uh, 15 that is 17.89 so this is 17.89 then this will be your x and then so 20 we have 18.13 so 
So about 18.13. Okay, so let's try to interpolate this one. So we have 15. So this is 15 minus your 18. Then we have your 15 minus your 20. This is equal to your 17.89 minus x and then 17.89 minus 18.33 okay. so we have the value so dito we have um, this is 0 0.6 is equal to 17.89 minus x divided by so this is negative uh, 0 0.44 okay we have cross multiplied so we have 0 0.6 times negative 0 0.44 it will be 17.89 minus your x so let's transpose that one that will be your x is equal to 17.89 so this will be negative it will be positive and that it will be hmm. so multiply mo that will be negative so magiging positive na siya transpose okay so that will be 0 0.6 times 0 0.44 okay. so we have 0 0.264 so our x is equal to plus 17.89 we have 18.154 okay so 18.154 so checking so it is in between okay so it's correct so we have the your viscosity viscosity of our uh, absolute dynamic viscosity of air that would be 18.154 so this is times 10 to the power of okay, checking the uh, no, negative 6 okay. so, so times 10 to the power of negative 6 so they check the no, uh, we have the units so this is the unit uh, the, uh, the decimal places so, patuloy yung kanina. So, we have the units of Pascal seconds. So, micropascal. Pascal seconds. So, we have now the viscosity. 18.154. We input it here. 18.154. Okay. Times 10 to the power of negative 6. Okay. So let's compute now the Reynolds number. Now we proceed with the Reynolds number. Okay. 